Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are on day 11 of the 14 days of Valentine's Day. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to do a little Frenchie moment and I wanted to use the tools that I was trying to use before. I had a better idea of how to use it, so I decided to go ahead and use that. So in this video, I already had the hand prepped and primed using the OPI Dehydrator and the Young Nails Primer. And then I am using the Valentino Beauty Pure in the color Blossom. And I'm using the number 12 Craig Brush by Young Nails. Um, and so I just kind of went in and started shaping out and kind of getting that Frenchie smile that I wanted. So I started with this pinky and then I will go ahead and do that on the other four fingers. And again, I'm not really um, focusing on exactly how many beads. I definitely wanted this to be, um, I already wanted to have my apex and everything built out. Um, so I, I did work on building that at this point and then um, again, focusing on that smile line.
Okay, so after I was done building out those smile lines, I went with my file kind of just to sharpen sharpen them up and um, define that line a little better. Um, I did leave a pretty good ridge on there so I could get the file in to help that shape. And then I kind of just went in and tightened those sidewalls a little bit too, but mostly focusing on that smile line shape. Okay, and then after I was done and pretty satisfied with that smile line shape after going in with my file, I am going in with some transfer foil glue um, and cure that for 60 seconds. And then I just wanted to use this hieroglyphic red and I wanted it to just to be a little bit chunky because later on I'm going to go in and add some red hearts in there. So I kind of wanted to have that definition. I did do two layers of that. Um, so I did one layer of the transfer oil, transfer oil transfer foil and then I cured it and then put the foil on and I did one more layer and did one more layer of foils also and now I'm going in with Bad Romance by Luxa and kind of just adding some depth to that smile line with the red Okay, so in order to lay the hearts, I went ahead and just put a really thin layer of clear acrylic and then just put a couple hearts on there. And then I'm going to go back through and cap with the acrylic. The hearts I got off of Amazon and the acrylic that I'm using is the Young Nails Speed Clear Acrylic. So I just went ahead and laid the hearts on there how I wanted to and then put a nice good bead right at that smile line um, and then pulled it beat down and I just wanted to make sure... Um, that it was smooth all the way across and there was no lips or ridges in there. Okay, and after I was done laying the acrylic, we just go in with those sidewalls. And like you guys know, I love to work one side of the hand, all of those sidewalls, and then go back the opposite direction. This, help, this just helps me make sure that I'm keeping my wrist straight and um, it'll help keep nice straight lines in those sidewalls. I also like to turn the nail over to the side and kind of flatten out my file a little bit just to make sure if there's any acrylic that um, hung out on the ends or transferred over. I kind of just smooth that over as well. And then I'm gonna go in with my five and one bit by Kara Sky, which I love, love, love this bit so much. Um, I'm just gonna go into that cuticle, make them nice and tight and fresh and sharp looking. Love that bit for that. And then I'm gonna go in with my balancing bit. This balancing bit is by Creations. I also have one by Kira Sky. But I feel like I like this one a little bit better than the Kira Sky one, but it also does a really good job as well. Um, I or I got this from my local nail supply store, but I believe you can get it on Amazon um, or you could also look up the Creations website and I'm sure you can order it from there as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, after I'm done going in with my balancing bit and smoothing over, I'm just gonna go in with my sanding band. These sanding bands are from Profiles Backstage. They are the purple sanding band, and this is in the Grit Fine. Super, super cute, I love it so much. And then the mandrel bit that I'm using, I just got on Amazon. And then I'm just gonna go back over and smooth over that nail with the sanding band and kind of just touch up any of those imperfections that may be in the nail. Okay, so after I'm done using that sanding band, I'm just gonna go in with my hand file and do some finished filing. So when I first take my file in, I usually just tighten up my sidewalls after I'm done laying acrylic. And then um, once I'm done using my cuticle bit and my balancing bit and my sanding band, I will go in and deafen up that shape and those sidewalls and then just make every make sure everything is nice and straight and, and tight and flush. Um, again, remember, it's always important to turn your client's hand around this direction so that way you can you know, see from their point of view. Also, you are able to measure that note, those nails up together to make sure you have super straight across. And then I'm just going to spray with alcohol. At this point, I would have my clients go wash their hands just so that they can get rid of all the dust and debris from filing. Um, but obviously, Nicole here is not going to go wash her hands. So I just sprayed her off with some alcohol. And then I wasn't going to add anything else to this set. So we're just going to go in and buff really fast. And again, remember when you're buffing out the nail, you want to go up one direction down the opposite direction because you don't want to create further imperfections in the nail. You want to make sure we're smoothing the nail over. Um, so doing it that way or also doing it in circular motions. And then I just went ahead and went in with the top coat, the non-wipe top coat by Not Polish. And I was really happy with the way these turned out. I thought they turned out super, super cute. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions on any products that I um, used, please leave a comment down in the comment section. Thanks, guys.